matter of fact, though, pterodactyl, when I'm micro and macro, my mind. Why would I try to hide the fact that I'm right, back to the Peter Martin, Central Coast Disc Golf, and we're back with 2016 SoCal Series Championships Round 2, Part 2. Did I get that right, Peter? That's right. Yeah. We got a, a pretty sweet card, Paul McBeth, Bobby Music, Chris Shotwell, Jason Tedinko, and uh, let's watch Disc Golf. Alright gang, uh, got a pretty hot race going here. Jason's got a two-stroke lead over Paul and Bobby. Shotty's hanging around. And we're kicking off uh, part two on hole 10. It's uh, 330 feet. So uh, the difficulty here is the low late ceiling, Peter. Right, and I see some players take it out to the left with a forehand sometimes, mm -hmm. try to skip it off the road. Yeah, it kind of takes that. My preferred route. Yeah, it takes the ceiling out of the equation for sure, but it does bring right. in the OB. <laughs> right, right. You have to kind of get over the curb. I've seen that kind of stop people before. It has indeed. Uh, Chris shot on the box. He's taking the backhand line up the middle. Uh, and came out just a little bit low. Right, yeah. Here is Jet taking that forehand line you're talking about. Yep. And that one's also low. He didn't get, he didn't get out wide enough, really. Yeah, it didn't really flip it up quite enough to get the distance on it. Uh, Bobby's a backhand man. He's showing it off right here, but swings it a little bit wide. Finishes pin high right. Hell of a putt. A long one. Yeah, looks like Paul is forehanding one of his Star Destroyers. Flirting with that car right there. <laughs> flirting with the curb, and now he's flirting with a basket because he is parked. parked. Uh, here is Shoddy. He said he was lining this one up. And give it a run. He really ran that one. He did, didn't he? Get a good chance yeah. to go. Uh, yeah. Here's Bobby from like 42. Yeah, Bobby. Dude. Very nice. Bobby with those jumpers, man. Yeah. Uh, Jet from outside the circle, from the knee, from a straddle. Doesn't oh, matter. Man. That was awesome. Get around that tree. That was perfect. Yeah, beautiful putt. Uh, there's a shoddy clean up the par. Uh, we got McBeast with just a drop in, too. That's, that's a good one to get right there. Uh, Chris losing a stroke to the card, though. Uh, Jet keeping that two stroke lead. And that's going to take us to hole 12. It's one of the more basic holes out here for these guys, anyway. Just kind of a, throw a, a flap to Heiser and let it skip in. And I guess the danger here is the OB left or OB long. Sure, yeah. It's kind of tucked in that corner right there. And yeah, Heiser too, or get something too overstable. And can skip into the road. Yep, you see more more uh, OB left than OB long. Mm. Yep, you see uh, Jet on the box. Taking that backhand hyzer line. Uh, looking good if that sits. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh yay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's what you want right there. <laughs> yep, getting flirty. He's got a long putt, but he's in bounce. Here is Bobby. What a shot. I'll see if Paul can get a little bit closer. I believe that's a champ Thunderbird. It's looking pretty. Sure is. Get a little skip and that should be parked. Whoa! A little deep. Macbeth problems. He's long. <laughs> Here's Chris Shotwell. That is also looking pretty good if he gets a little skip. Yeah, a little low, but that is pretty spot on. I think that was his uh, Sexton Firebird, and that one, that one looked good. So here is Jet from pin high left for two. Ooh. Oof, so close. Teasing it. Macbeth yeah. from a little bit closer. Should be making this one. Done and done. Yep. There's that McPro AVR in there. Shoddy clean up the two. Yeah. And uh, Bobby with the park job here. Yeah, that is right on the money. Showing off those local skills. <laughs> Paying off. There's uh, three more birdies and one par, just like last hole, but changing yeah, the players around. Except for Ball and Poppy, because they are fire. And they we're on. <laughs> they are, man. Hole 12, 320 feet. That's double Mando, that's for all intents and purposes a triple Mando. Okay, get under that canopy there. And the basket's uh, tucked in by the road. Um, you can go OB left or OB right, it happens. Mm -hmm. I've seen it, yeah. yeah. As does missing the Mando. <laughs> yeah. 
it's kind of hard. It kind of gets in your head. It's, it seems like it's pretty straightforward to just kind of. It's a you know simple little bit of hyzer shop, but it's uh, it's pretty tough. It is. Uh, Bobby Music Fat is looking good if it skips. Yeah, you're welcome. But it does. Wow, like a like a pawn on a or a stone on a pond right there, man. Now McBeast, I think he's going back to Thunderbird again. That's looking pretty good too. Paul and Bobby not messing around. Sometimes the grass can grab it here at La, La Mirada, but... It can, right? Yeah, it's like 50-50 on this hole, I feel like. Yeah, right? You never know if you're going to get that skip or not. Uh, shot will just go a little bit high. Uh, makes the mando, but does not make the ceiling. <laughs> going to be laying it for three. Oh, Chet. Um, that was a rough one right there. Missing the mando, yeah. so he's throwing three right here. Hoping to clean up a four. But he's most likely losing two strokes to Paul and Bobby, Peter. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, Shotwell just playing smartly in it for a three. Uh, here is Jet for the four. Strokes it on in there. Gotta make that one. Yeah, yeah, that's like um, a five really kills kills your game right there. So good to get away with at least the four, but it does hurt as Paul and Bobby. Oh, it's definitely Paul, most likely Bobby. There it is. Yeah. Taking, taking twos. Neck and neck. They arm in there just fighting. Love it. Shot well. Cleans up the par. It's been playing nice really ball. solid. Definitely. I really like his form. It's really nice and clean, and when it's on, it's on. It is, man, definitely. That was a mile, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, with that, that's a two-stroke swing, and now Paul and Bobby are in the lead over Jet. Mm -hmm. And we're on to hole 13, 273. It's it's a par two. Yeah. <laughs> for, for these yeah, guys. Yeah, this one's pretty easy. I think it's... A putter for most of these guys. It's just yep. not too hard to exactly. not too hard to reach. Exactly. There's Bobby. I think that's a harp, but not 100. percent Right. As white as he was taking it, then yeah, I can see that. Yeah. It looks like Paul's throwing his P2. I think the hardest part of this tee pad is the slick tee pad, or the hole is the tee pad. Right. It's super glossed over. Uh, Paul was not stoked on that drive, but he's still putting. Yeah. And Shotwell also throwing a P2. Yeah, getting, Looking nice. Yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit long, right on line. Yeah. Uh, Jet bringing up the rear of the box after carding that four, throwing the hyzer in there. A little bit short, but he's putting again. There is Dre filming second cam for us. McBeast uh, making yeah. can in the putts. <laughs> and Jet for two. Oh, he needed that one after that four. Yeah, it, that's hard to to watch, especially when it hits all the chains. And right? Through. Yeah, even pro side. Mm -hmm. uh, Bobby dead center, and uh, Bobby and Paul getting another stroke on Jet, along with uh, Shotwell, also cards a birdie. Yeah, it's three or three. Those three guys getting a birdie on another hole. Yep. <laughs> Killing it. Uh, that they taking the Paul Bobby lead out to two over Jet, uh, four over Shotty. That's going to take us to hole 14. It's a par 3, 320. Uh, danger here is rolling down the hill OB or going long into the, the sidewalk OB. Um, right. I think that's more so than rolling down the hill. It's Yeah. A lot of these guys can, can reach it from here. Oh, very easily. Yeah, I think they're, they're all throwing mids or putters on this one. Yeah. Uh, Bobby on the box first. Yeah. I think that's going to play. A little pretty straight shot. Oh, that'll, that'll Very nice. Play. Yeah, that is, that's parts. I think so. Yep. Uh, Paul throwing his McPro Rock 3. Mm -hmm. That one got a little flatter than he wanted. It looked yeah. like kind of died a little early. Uh, but still, it's puttable. At least for him. If you're Paul, yeah. You have a reasonable expectation to make that. <laughs> and I think Shotwell is going back to the P2. 320 okay. feet uphill. It's a putter. Just that, maybe it just wants that to kind of die down straight. Yeah. But I mean, that is spot on. Pin high left is beautiful. And uh, Jet said he's throwing a rock right here. And I heard him say ace or three. Ooh, I love the way that turns up just so ace slightly. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Wow. That was close, Peter. It was. It was a good shot. It sure good was. Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah. He wanted it, just a little bit too high. 
At least it didn't go too far with the with that one. That one can definitely easily go OP. Oh yeah, definitely a good point. If you miss that. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris making a great putt, and Jet. Ooh. Oh, trying to save his par, but not happening right there. He is <laughs> dropping strokes rapidly, but he's still smiling at least. Yeah, he's he's a good he's always in good spirits. He was man. There's Bobby getting a stroke on Paul, uh, taking solo lead. down now got one over Paul uh, four on shoddy and four on Jet <laughs> there's Jet being his awesome self for the use playing with frisbees playing with frisbees man <laughs> a whole 15 guys double mando through this gap right here as Andre showed you and then a little tiny dog leg right it's a downhill green which kind of makes it tough to, to nail the distance right Peter yeah it's kind of blind it seems like it's pretty straightforward I, I see a lot of people taking this sidearm shot um, either that or just like a really slight turnover. Yeah. But ooh, Bobby hit something there. Yeah, I think he hit, hit the hit the ceiling there. He made the game, the Mando at least, so it should be a an easy part. He has a, mm -hmm. a half half go at a at a two. Right. And Shotwell, that is looking tasty. That is such a nice looking shot. Wasn't it just super pretty? Yeah. Love that that glide on the turn right there. Paul, I'm guessing that's a Mako the way it's flying. Yeah. It flew pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty close. Oh, Jason Perry. Jet. 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 Oh, man. Going to be there. Getting a little bit of struggle money right now. Hopefully we can get it, back, get it back going here. All right, here's Bobby. Outside the circle. Looks to be about 40 feet for a two. Yeah, yeah just not quite just enough on it. Whiffed it. Yep. Paul did not whiff it. There he goes, answering Bobby's birdie on the last one. Exactly, they are now tied again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jet wow. gets some chastity belt love <laughs> for the four save. Uh, Bobby saving his three. And then Shotwell just playing solid. Beautiful so, bird. Yep, another birdie for him. He's getting two strokes on Jet there. He's uh, sole right. possession of third place now. Mm -hmm. Doing work. And that's Paul and Bobby tied for first. Uh, we're on to hole 17. That's pretty dead straight with a little tiny left finish uh hardest part here is getting under that tree mm -hmm. but it's 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 one they definitely want to get yeah it's you, you kind of throw you can throw a little low kind of get it's a little bit of a hill right there in the middle but not too much in the way except for the little twigs in the middle yeah you have that mando with the uh, the yeah. light pole that's right yeah takes out any kind of crazy uh spike hyzer or something like that uh, shot well. I'm pretty sure that's a gator. The way it's flying. Okay. Yeah, definitely. And that looks pretty good. That, that, that looks like a circle stamp gator. That was right. Yeah. And McBeast. Pretty sure that's a Champ Rock three. Mm -hmm. Pretty standard. Yeah. It fades a little early, but yeah. still, he left himself a clean putt. Yeah. It doesn't have any of the trees in the way there. Yeah. Pretty fortunate the way that finished. Mm -hmm. And Bobby was throwing that BT hard harp. Okay, yeah. Man. Very nice shot. Wasn't it? God. <laughs> Knows what he's doing out here. And Jet putting some stank on that one. A little wide, but oh, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, it came in just up a little bit long. Yep. Yep. Uh, Paul with a little bit of a, a scary putt. This could go long if he airmails it, but... That hill but. slopes pretty far down there, but that was... It's a great putt. It sure was. Uh, Jet is coming back at the basket for this birdie. Needs this one to get back on track. Come on, bud. Oh, oh. Dude, no. Just a little low. Uh, Shotwell continues yeah. to just drain there birdies like they're going out of style. I think that's like four in a row. <laughs> that's right, yeah. He's marching up there. He is, man. He's only three back of uh, Paul and Bobby who are still tied at lead 21 down. And that's going to take us the whole 17, 460 feet. This is a bomber, Peter. It is, definitely. It's, uh, for these guys, it's pretty reachable. I mean, they just got to throw like one of their distance drivers out there. And uh -huh. It's not too much in the way, I feel like. Yeah, even has a little backstop, too. 
Right. If you if you have Macbeth problems, then go on. Right. <laughs> not applicable to AM arms. <laughs> the whole backstop thing. Yeah. Uh, Stratwell does not have an AM ar AM arm. He has a cannon. Yeah. He's smashing one out there and didn't get quite Ooh, the flip he low, wanted. Yeah. yeah. Hung it hung it out on the left side. Yeah, but still throws uh, 460 on a Heiser. Wow. That is that is really far actually. Yeah, he's pinned high, just that left. Is yeah. Yeah. Crushed. Uh, Paul, I'm sure he's throwing a star destroyer right here. Mm -hmm. And that is. Truth. Oh Little God. bounces and just. Watch Ooh. out, Andre. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Threw that one five bills easy. <laughs> Uphill. Yep. Bobby also crushing one out there. Also a little higher, didn't get yeah. no flip, or maybe those things are related. It's kind of hits the trees there on the left hand side. Uh -huh. uh, Jet is throwing a cannon right here. Yeah. Just put that one up a little high. I think it had the power to get there if it was lower. Right. But I've seen I've seen Paul do those really low shots and he gets them so far. He does, man. They, they just carry forward and Jet. Oh, looking for the two. Hit it at a, a sniper branch. Yeah. Uh, Bobby from like 55. Bobby. Oh. Wow. This. Wow. How many jumpers has he hit this round, Peter? I don't know. That was at least a couple. It's at least three or four, I want to yeah. say. Like, legit ridiculous putts. And shot will give that a really good run, man. That was actually really close, yeah. Yeah, just a little more want on that one. Uh, Paul went long, coming back at the basket for his two. Wow. That's how far he's coming back from. Right? I think he's putting back like 50 feet at that one. Yep. Oh, jet. Oh. oh, man. Banded. Well, the wheels are coming basket. off that one a little bit right now. Oh, Jet, my boy. Paul cleans up the par, and uh, yep. Jet's going to drop in a 4 right here. Uh, Shotwell going to drop in a rare par for him. Yep, his first after a couple birds. Yeah, he's been doing work for a while there. Uh, Bobby with the solo bird on that one, getting the stroke on Paul and taking the lead right now. Wow. That was Especially going, going into the last hole, that's that's big. It is, right? Yeah, can't carry that lead in the next day. At least feels good, right? <laughs> A uh, whole 18, it's gettable for these guys. It's 350. Uh, it's a blow kind of hyzer through the trees to the right. Um, yeah. Ricky Wysocki throws a backhand roller, which is crazy, but it works. Okay. Yeah. I can, wow. I can yeah. see a sidearm roller. Yeah. He gets it down real quick and it just goes straight. He yeah. was busting nice. that out during the world tour. Out on the left hand side there. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Gotcha. I managed to film the high fives. They, they always happen. Just, <laughs> I don't always film them. <laughs> they happen quick, I tell you. Yeah. Gotta and make your toes. You do, man. And that was Bobby with a pretty perfect line. Cubs a little bit yeah, short, but you're not, not complaining about that at all. Oh, no. That just shows you how those trees can really kind of get you. Early. Oh, no. Oh. Chris. Dude. Dude. That. That's unfortunate. That wasn't cool. Yeah. And Paul going high, hitting the tree. Yeah, he hit some twigs there, huh? He's still parked. Wow. You know. Just world champ things. Jet and Smash needs to get yeah, a little more fade finished. than it looks like it wants to. Yeah, it's still really good though. Yeah, just a little bit long, okay. right? Yeah. No complaining for him, I'm sure. I imagine that's Shotty's P2, which he's throwing on okay, his good. third shot. Should oh, be taking wow, a four. Like, yeah, a little bit long even. Right in line. Mm -hmm. Bobby for the deuce. He is not letting go of that lead, yeah. Peter. Right, wow. What an exciting battle. Right? Love it, man. <laughs> Especially, I'm sure, a lot of guys want to see Bobby do well on his home course. Oh, yeah, he's he's got he's the, the hometown hero at this one for sure. And there is Shotwell clean up the four. And here is Paul to stay within one of Bobby. Done and done. Can't let him get more than one. No. <laughs> yeah. There is Jet clean up the par. Oh man, played so solid. Just had a, a rough right. like last five holes. I went up four or five yes. holes, something like that. Especially after a, an amazing first round. Yeah, absolutely with that, that ace and everything. Oh man. Well, that is all we got for round two. Round three, Peter, is on the Golden State layout, which combines the lakeside and the backside course into yes, one sir. epic awesomeness. Of course, it's fun. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, lots of long shots, lots of par fours. And you know what is also going to be fun, Peter? What's that? When we play Champ versus Chumps on the Ooh. Golden State layout next Sunday. Oh, oh man. Going to be epic. <laughs>
<laughs> see what we got. Yep, so you guys got that to look forward to. You guys can make fun of us. We're going to have Nate Sexton make fun of us, which is, there's nothing really better than Nate Sexton making fun of you. Um, Love it. It's, it's pretty much the best. Johnny Football's going to be there. <laughs> Peter's going to be there. I'm going to be there. We'll have the whole gang. I think Hannah's making a another return on Team Victoria's Secret. So <laughs> it should right be fun, on. guys. And uh, we'll get round three out as fast as we possibly can. Uh, we got holidays coming up, so it might be a little tough, but we will do what we can, guys. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you around. Later.